Welcome to the prototyping video. The solution we are presenting to Smart Traveling is a smart speedometer for motorbikes. The design is one of a kind which allows the user to attain the entire functionality of a speedometer and much more at just a plug of a phone. All the user has to do is plug in their phone into a speedometer holder and they get access to all the features through a uniquely designed integrated mobile application. They can navigate, receive, and make calls, record their journey all the while not having to worry about unforeseen collisions. Because the system warns you of upcoming road disruptions as well. So here are some details of the prototype. We decided to move forwards with a more economically feasible and generally accessible model with the use of a cell phone placed in a polycarbonate bracket supported by strings and held in place using a clamp on the motorcycle handlebar. This would ensure the safety of the phone as it would protect the phone from any haywire rocks on the street. The design of the bracket would be such that it would allow airflow so as to not let the phone heat up. Furthermore we angled the design of the bracket such that it would enable the rider to be able to view the screen, while it records from the camera on the back of the phone. The design allows space for the phone to be plugged into a charger while it is in the bracket. The dimensions of the bracket will be left adjustable, so as to allow for the any future modification needed. So, in order to test the functionality of our proposed model of our smart dashboard we designed multiple CAD models to study the compatibility, dimensions, orientation, and overall structure of how the replacement should look like. What you are seeing on the screen is one of the models that we designed. Here you can see it has mounting clamps to hold it on the bike handles. It also has an adjustable mobile holder which can be angled in multiple positions to fit the user's needs. Apart from this the second model that we designed looks something like this. It also has mounting clamps and is adjustable as well. We were unable to model the technical aspects of the design in terms of screws and mounting straps. We also didn't make these models of any specific size since bike dashboards are very straightly in terms of dimensions and size, so we had to create these models to just get a good understanding of how we should proceed in designing an actually fully furnished dashboard replacement for a motor bike. Now we will show you how the application works. We can connect the Bluetooth of the phone with the earpiece to allow connect communication. Connected. Another feature of the app is allowing the video recording of the user's journey for various purposes such as security. We can also access the camera to allow the user to record real-time footage which can be automatically saved on cloud or user's phone storage as demonstrated. Next we get the added feature of navigation instruction, both visual and vocal integrated within the app. Head north on I Street, turn left, turn right onto Emerson Street, turn right onto H Street, turn left onto East 2nd Street, turn right onto Dorchester Street, turn left onto West 1st Street, turn right onto East 1st Street, turn left onto Pappas Way, turn left, Another module in the system is a road disruption detection system. This system uses the footage from the camera of the smartphone and applies image processing to determine any bumps, potholes, or disruptions on the road. The prototype currently tests the algorithm on an image of coins mimicking potholes. The algorithm converts the image into a grayscale image, and then converts it into a binary image of ones and zeros. Then it labels all the objects in the image which in this case are the coins. The final output is the number of coins in the image. Similar approach but with some advanced filters can be used to detect potholes on roads and alert the user at a safe distance.